I am Ed Bain Grills and I'm going to be traversing some of the harshest environments on a remote island to show you the top survival tricks. Stay tuned as we take part in an incredible adventure on a journey through the island of Sons of the Forest. So, we've made it to the beach, but we're not out of the woods yet. We need supplies, bedding, and another meal. Ugh. And I really am getting hungry again. I really hope there's something good around here. Time to reference one of my good old sayings. One man's junk is another man's treasure. Oh, this is fantastic. Sometimes you just gotta celebrate the little wins when they come. Keep your spirits high and your morale high as well. So I decide to celebrate with a lovely can of sugar. Oh, it's refreshing. So what I'm going to do is just have a little route around here and just see what supplies I can get. And from what I can tell, there's a lot of camp supplies here. So I can get back to the campsite. I can finish construction of my bed. Okay, so with that tarp, we're gonna make a bed for the night. Get as much rest as we can. Tomorrow's a big day. Well, better go investigate that raft. So now with my body well rested and my spirits high, I'm ready to continue foraging across the beach to see if I can find any more survival supplies. I think I'm gonna check that raft out and see what's on there. You really wanna be careful on rocks like this. Crikey. Ah. Oh, turtles. This is an excellent opportunity for me to get some grub. I'm just going to repetitively kind of stab it in the head until it stops moving. Until it's dead. That one's done. Come here, old chap. Okay, now that is, oh, more. This might look inhumane, but it's the most humane way to deal with these. If I go straight for the skull, they're likely to die quicker. And then, oh, now the shell is gonna be extremely useful. And the meat, let's make use of all of them. Oh, oh. You know, the inside of a turtle, doesn't smell all that good. Actually, quite pungent and salty and ugh. Now I'm going to take the head because again, this could be used in some kind of soup or really anything. It's 
good to be resourceful. Oh, one more. Ugh. Never get used to that. Oh, looks like I'm carrying too many shells. Okay, so I've harvested the turtles. And now we're making the trip to the life raft. See what's going on and what kind of supplies we can get. Now it's a strong half a mile swim to the raft. I've got currents and tides to deal with and I do not want to get pulled out to sea. Not to mention, I can't see through this water. There could be something beneath, so I want to get out of it fast. Oh, something bit me! Something bit me! Ah, ah, ah! Uh, yeah. Oh. 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 Okay. There's some good supplies at the very least. Got another meal. Ah, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and straight down. And we have a gun. May be useful later. Some of those primates come in the night. So something did bite me on the way here, and I'm just looking in the water for any signs of anything. But sharks, and not just any shark, that's a great white shark. Good thing I have this gun at hand. I'm just going to shoot it in the head. Most humane way to deal with it. Rest in peace, buddy. Seagulls. Feathers are going to be excellent. An opportunity has presented itself. If I can camp out and lure the seagulls in, I should be able to get my hands on more of those feathers. This is quite a good opportunity for me to maybe hunt a few of them. They seem to be attracted to the body. If I just and wham bam, got myself some more feathers. These will come extremely handy later. And of course, we're gonna just cut cut the flesh out of it and take his head. Oh, it appears there's more great white sharks. Okay. I'm gonna have to make a dash for it. Oh, bloody hell. The worst thing you can do in a situation like this is panic. Because if that fight or flight kicks in and you don't think straight, you're gonna make the wrong decision and game over. Oh no, I appear to have wasted all of my ammunition on the sharks. I'm extremely scared of sharks. Well, I hope that's all of them. Let's go. I'm swimming at a rapid pace back to shore. I don't want the tide pulling me back out towards the sharks. So I'm just going to... A press stroke. Okay. Ah, sea water. With all that behind me, my thoughts move to my next task. I've got a bag full of turtle meat and some crucial supplies. So what I'm gonna do 
is get back to camp and get cooking. So at the very least, we have some supplies. It's been a long day. I'm exhausted, starving, hungry for some turtle soup. But all I need to do is fill this pot with some fresh water and we're basically good to go. A good supply of fresh water is just what I need. <laughs> 